This is a project at the Money College, Organic Waste, Fuel and Food Security. We have a series of integrated projects that speaks to several aspects of this. The principal, Mr. Howard Isaacs, is here addressing a group from Hamlin University out of Minnesota, USA, who visit to view our integrated project. Let's meet the research team. We have Karine Allen, Denise Williams, Georgia Bartley, Alton Harrison, Kimona Perry, and Karine Allen, from left to right, that is. The project also accommodates the students from the Money Primary and Junior High who wish to do their community service along with our projects here, even at the Chicken Rearing Project. So members of the research team, along with members of the Environmental Club, share the activities um, during project days and here are in the process of slaughtering chickens and the students are catching the chickens for slaughter. We engage the services of hired hands to assist the students with um, slaughtering and post-harvest treatment of the chickens that we use for the cafeteria and also for the tourism cafe. And here in the foreground is Janet White, the president of the Environmental Club, along with the students on the research team, um, working together to um, slaughter the chickens, package them, then they are stored in the freezer and utilized here by the college. We are able to supply ourselves with 35% of our need, that is, of chicken meat. Over the years, the interest in our program has grown momentum to the extent where now we see the visit of the parish councillors from New York City um, visiting our project while they were on tour of the park. Food security initiative includes the uh, goat rearing project, which right now we are looking at groundbreaking because our project here has been approved. And next we'll see the um, team from the Ministry of Agriculture, the Jamaica Forage Club, and the Ministry of Education. Um, are here inspecting and discussing appropriateness of the location. The research team is putting the finishing touch to the replica of the organic waste management facility that has been designed and funded by the Environmental Foundation of Jamaica. Here is the facility on one side we have the manure from the chicken facility that is broken down there and on the other side we do have the vermicompost that the students are here um, cutting the kitchen waste to integrate with the other um, waste that we do use in the facility. The plant manager and his team assist us in transporting the litter from the chicken rearing project to the facility here as we can see they are loading on the research team the students are also there in hand inside the facility there we have the chicken manure some on the right hand side has been broken down being there for three to four months on the left hand side fresh manure just broken down here we have vent pipes and also the hose for wetting down making sure the moisture content is adequate um, after we have uh, broken down that, um, after it has been broken down, then we load them into pans and then taken out to the field. Here we have 1.2 acres of Aki um, seedlings that have been growing now uh, for the past year and a half. And we use the manure there to, um, as soil amendment to improve the growth of these plants. Um, in our project here, we have never used inorganic fertilizer. We have always been using decomposed material. Here we have the vermicompost. Um, the worms here are being attended to. In fact, in the, in the process of research, we are collecting sample to be weighed, and then we are going to be calculating the rate of reproduction because we are going to project that uh, in a few months what amount of manure this facility should be producing. So there we have the um, chicken, the, um, the peel from the kitchen. And we are also now using the hum humidity testing equipment to check the environment inside and outside the facility. We have a pile of wood that has been cut up from waste um, trees around. Um, this is to feed the wood chipper because we have a wood chipper that produces the wood chips that we use as litter for the chicken rearing project and also um, shredded paper. There is a demonstration. Um, showing them how to use the machine or to start the machine. Also, we intend to demonstrate safety features because this machine has been designed to bring less, I mean, harm to, 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 to those who are using it. Because even though um, it may 
it has sharp blades, but then with uh, it is designed that even if your hands should be placed deep down, it will not reach the um, cutting implements. And so, though it is not recommended that that be done, however, that is just to demonstrate the safety features of the machine that has been purchased with funds from the Environmental Foundation of Jamaica. Um, this is our biodiversity room with our store room. We store a number of um, items in there for our project, and the paper shredder, the commercial paper shredder, is stored there. Exam papers, discarded papers from the offices are shredded. This is also used in the vermicompost compartment and also used as um, litter for in the chicken rearing project. Here, Michael Thomas, um, our uh, yeah, Michael Thomas, our project officer for the environmental club, is presiding um, in the paper shredding operation. Then we are on our way now to the cafeteria to collect the kitchen waste that we will be using over the vermicompost. So basically, all the um, waste, organic waste on the campus are consolidated in one aspect or another of the venture. And there we end up with the decomposed material that we use in our, in our, in our operation. These three sorts of plants are grown in our shade house. And these plants are being used to test the organic waste. And uh, we use inorganic fertilizer as well. It's in, in the form of a research to see what is best. Um, Karen and Karen are in the process of tending these plants and um, potting um, them along with a different mix. We have the citrus resuscitation project. We have citrus plants at Money College over 54 years old that we are maintaining and they are still bearing, by the way. And um, the research team, along with the clubites, they take pride in taking care of these trees, um, removing weeds, um, removing debris from the plants. We also have a younger 1.2 acre portion of the citrus that has been replanted. Well, they have just established about a year now. And we also are, we take pride in taking care of these plants. In another, a few years, we will be having um, a, a lot of citrus from this. In project days, Wednesdays and also Thursday afternoons, um, we have students from the different areas, different programs that do come in their change and sometimes their uniform and they do work in maintaining these projects. We have a new facility here, a multi-purpose hall where we plan to invite a number of persons for different events but we will be um, landscaping this, um, this, this part of the campus using um, the products of our facility as well as we intend to go as organic as possible while self-sustaining. The coconut plants um, have been given us by the fruit tree crop production up by RADA, Ministry of Agriculture. And they are grown on a two-acre plot along with nestberry, miniature nestberry plants that we are looking at just now. We are looking forward to um, reaping from them in a few um, months time. Then we have the lighter plants also that have been donated through the fruit tree crop production program. We have a two acre plot of land that is um, designated for, for, for this. We notice the soil type is not, um, too, it's, it's not too fertile really. And so the manure project will do very well in complementing this project. Here again we see the team from the Hamlin University that visited our projects um, on the J-term activity. Do our research involve a number of uh, variables and here we have a handful of worms that we are checking the weight of these mature critters to project their reproductive rate. Um, here we have a brand new laptop given us by the Environmental Foundation of Jamaica where we are documenting our research findings and have a, our regular, one of our regular three meetings that we have per week. The Montego Bay, we were regional winners of the Science Expo in the tertiary category. There we were first, um, we came first and we also got the most indigenous display and we are preparing ourselves to go to the Nationals which is in Kingston. We displayed our wares as well at her Day celebration, which was um, which had taken place at the Brownstone Community College on the 22nd of April, Earth Day.